Uh, yeah, it's my first time in Tijuana. Actually, the, uh, the first time that I ever wrestled in Mexico was last week in Mexico City with Negro Navarro. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back in Mexico so soon. Uh, tonight, you will encounter a great rival. Who is Daga? Uh, yeah, I'm actually quite familiar with Daga. Uh, uh, I've been influenced mainly by European and Japanese wrestling, but I've always tried to watch some Lucha Libre. So, uh, also kind of uh, a lot of my friends uh, have kind of told me about Dago. So I think that we can hopefully do a kind of different match that I think maybe the Crash usually has. Like I'm hoping to uh, to kind of showcase a more technical style. Would you rival from Mexico world you'd like to encounter? Uh, just everyone. I re this year I want to wrestle in Mexico as much as possible. Like, uh, I kind of feel like this is something that's been missing from my career. Like I've, uh, you know, I'm very happy with everything I've achieved in Europe, uh, Japan and America. But I think for me personally, but also I think that I represent uh, you know, British wrestling in the modern style. So I think to come to a country where you know, wrestling is such a huge part of the culture here, and maybe more than anywhere else, I think that Lucha Libre is, you know, is a culture in Mexico where wrestling in the rest of the world is kind of a more of a subculture. So I just want to wrestle with everyone. Uh, Zach, what can you tell us about your experience uh, with Negro Navarro? Negro Navarro, uh, I think it's one of the, mo one of the most enjoyable experiences of, uh, of my career. And it was also very inspiring um, that someone can wrestle for four decades. He's 59 years old and uh, you know, not only is he still wrestling, because lots of wrestlers wrestle when they get older, but the Negro Navarro still wrestles at such a high quality, at such a high level, with such class and dignity. I found it very inspiring. Uh, I was a fan of what I had seen on videos and of YouTube, but to be in the ring with him is even more impressive, and to see the reaction that he gets from the fans, and I think that he is a true legend. I think in sports, people refer to people as legends very easy. It's kind of a, a buzzword, like, oh, he's a legend, but Negro Navarro is an actual real legend, and. Uh, uh, yeah, to go to come to Mexico for the first time, have kind of the majority of fans that really know who I am, and then at the end of the match, everyone seemed to really enjoy it. So that was very rewarding for me. But uh, yeah, great time. So I'm excited to come to Tijuana and uh, do it all over again. Um, yeah, but I think first impressions are important. I'm kind of in a position now, I think, where in America, Europe, that kind of a lot of people when I wrestle kind of know who I am. So I'm actually excited now to be coming to town to come into a new market where I'm maybe not particularly known and then it, it makes me work harder so I've got to impress everyone. A message for the Blue and Daga. Uh, get ready to be in the ring with the, uh, with the best technical wrestler in the world. Uh, but ignore that I lost to Negro Navarro last week but uh, yeah, I've, I've spent a long time trying to create a style based around uh, kind of classic British wrestling and modernising it and then I've always been very passionate about Japanese wrestling so hopefully I'll be a, a kind of wrestler that he's never wrestled before but I think that hopefully I'll, I'll get him to showcase his technical skills. I'm told that he's a very good mat wrestler but he doesn't maybe show it to the fans very often so I see that as my role in uh, in the wrestling world now, kind of allowing people to show like a technical side of their, their skill. So, uh, for you, which is the top? What, what, what is your dream in wrestling world? Wrestling world to uh, continuously become a better wrestler, to travel the world, meet people, try and showcase a positive message. Uh, you know, my goal isn't as, as simple as achieving one thing. Like I. Uh, I'm on a mission, I guess, to, to showcase what wrestling can be and kind of in and out of doing it as well. I, I hope I'm part of the, a modern vanguard of, uh, of kind of wrestlers with a different mindset. Like I, I want to try and, and push and push things forward, kind of creatively in the ring, and then kind of as a as a person, as like a, a professional outside of the ring. So just uh, I want to do this as long as possible. So I hope that I uh, continue to evolve.